Hello guys, my name is Kathy. I'm the owner and founder of Bitch Lab Cosmetics. Today I'm going to do a very uh, short tutorial on eyebrows, um, what to do and what not to do. Um, you're probably wondering what's going on over here in this area and these are some of the things that you do not ever want to do to your eyebrows. You never want to use a black cream liner. You never want to use a carbon black eyeshadow. Um, not even a dark brown um, liner or, or dark brown um, eyeshadow on the eyebrow area. You always want to stay with a nice neutral tone. Um, and these are a couple, a couple of the eyebrows that I've seen on YouTube, on MySpace, and um, sometimes you just think you're just like, wow, um, their makeup looks really hot, but then when it comes to the eyebrows, this is what's going on. They just use a black, you know, liner or carbon eyeshadow or just anything that's black and they think that looks good and it really doesn't. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows and some of the products that I use um, using, you know, doing the eyebrows. Um, the first thing that I use is uh, going to be blonde and this is a color that you can get from Bitch Lab Cosmetics. It has a Bitch Lab logo and it's a nice medium light brown. Um, I'm going to use um, the Hottest Bitch on the Planet by Nikki, and this is um, a medium brown pigment eyeshadow, but it could be used for the eyebrows also. It's really, really pretty. And then, of course, um, our Light Corrector Concealer. This holds eyeshadow in place, and it's really good for the eyebrow area, too. And I'm going to show you how I, you know, apply all the colors. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply um, the Light Blonde, and um, the brush I'm going to use for that would be the 266, and this is a MAC brush. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a tiny bit of the blonde on the eyebrow area and we're going to start on the bottom. Just need a tiny, tiny bit. And then you're going to apply a little bit on the top area. And a little goes a long way so you really, really don't need a lot. The next color I'm going to use is the medium light brown. It's kind of like a chocolate color. And I'm going to use this and this is going to be used um, in the arch area. So you just want a tiny, tiny bit. You really don't want a lot. Okay, and so we're going to apply a little bit right here on top of the arch. There we go. So we started off with a light, uh, light blonde color, and then we, were, we added a darker chocolate color. And all these colors that I'm using can be purchased on the website at www.bitchlabcosmetics.com. Okay, so once these two colors are um, applied to the eyebrow, the next thing we're going to do is grab a brush 194, and this is a nice concealer brush. There we go, and it's kind of skinny, and of course you can get this brush at MAC, it's a really good brush. We're going to use a tiny bit of the concealer, which is the light corrector, and we're going to apply a little bit on the bottom area and just kind of follow the shape of the eyebrows. Okay, and then we're going to apply a tiny bit more on the top. So you want to apply concealer on the top and also on the bottom of the eyebrow area. Okay. Now once that's done, um, you want to come back with a 242 uh, MAC brush, a nice concealer brush, and we're going to go ahead and clean the bottom. Just want to make sure that it's nice and blended so that way you don't see a lot of the light concealer. I mean you want to see a little bit, but you don't want a lot showing. So we're cleaning the bottom and we're going to clean the top. Okay, and then a little bit on the top area. So you see how it's nice and blended, and it kind of just blends in with the skin area, and that's what you want. You don't want, you know, you don't want it completely being all light and completely being all white on the top. Next, we're going to do, we're going to use the same brush, the 242 brush, and we're going to start cleaning right here in the, uh, the front of the eyebrow. You want to start kind of, you know, lining up a little bit so that way it's not dark, and that way it'll give you a nice airbrush effect. Because you see a lot of women that when they do their eyebrows, they just do it all dark all the way across. And again, this is something you do not want to do. You never want to start dark all the way. You want to use two colors. You want to use a nice light brown and then go back with the darker brown. And then, of course, your concealer. So we're basically just lightening up a tiny bit more. 
okay. Now we'll clean up a little bit more on the bottom. And it's always good to make sure you blend in the concealer. I, I, I want to just stress that out because it's really important because you don't want it to look white. And I always like to do this in the beginning before I apply any of my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to come back with a tiny bit of the lighter, uh, the blonde color concealer, I mean the eyebrow, eyeshadow. Just a tiny bit more and I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, I mean just add a little bit more color on the top. And remember, it's two colors that I use, the light brown and then the chocolate dark brown. And this is how you want to kind of have the eyebrows looking and just kind of a tiny bit lighten up this area. You always want to make sure it's lighter, never dark. And this is the finishing look, a perfect eyebrow. And then you're ready to apply your foundation, you're ready to apply your your powder, you're ready to beat the eyes. And what I always like to do also, I'll come back with a little more concealer and just apply it all over the eyelid. And then then I'll apply the Hottest Bitch on the Planet by Nikki in the crease area and then that way I can go ahead and start applying all my fun colors. Because it's, it's also a really good um, background color too. So we're applying the concealer. Give it apply a little bit on the bottom. And then we'll come back with a tiny bit of the Hottest Bitch on the Planet by Nikki. You just need a tiny, tiny bit. You don't need a lot. Remember guys, a little goes a long way. And, um, okay, so what we're going to do is just apply a little bit in the crease area. So this is a really cool color to apply in the crease for the eyebrows. I mean, you could even use it for blush. I mean, you could use it for a lot of things. And then you can come back with all your crazy colors, you know. Just make sure it's blended. I'm just kind of showing you what else you can do with this pigment. Because it's a really, really cool pigment. And of course, we're always sewed out on it. So it just shows you a lot of people like it. Because you could use it for a lot of things. Especially if you're doing a lot of like drag shows. Stuff is really hot. You could even use it like on your lips. You know, just applying a tiny bit with a little bit of a clear gloss. And it gives you a really cool chocolate um, lip gloss effect. Okay, and another thing that you could use for the um, underneath eyebrow to make them stand out a tiny bit more is just get a little bit of White Trash Bitch by Bitch Lap Cosmetics. I don't know if you could see that really good, if you saw it. It's just a nice white. It's a little shimmery white. You want to just apply a tiny, tiny bit. And we're going to use this underneath the eyebrow area. Look how pretty that looks. And this is a really popular one, too. I mean... These pigments, I mean, seriously, guys, they last a long, long time. You don't need a whole bunch, you know? Look at that. Look how pretty that is. So, yeah, so this is how I do the eyebrows. I mean, because I've got so many requests about eyebrows. And the next tutorial I'm going to be doing is on the new uh, Deadliest uh, Bitch on Earth paint wool that just came out. I'm probably going to be doing a tutorial tomorrow on uh, one of the looks that I'm going to create with it. This is the, the logo. You can get the middle finger. Or you can get the original logo, which is the hot pink and the leopard print. And this is the new hottest bitch on earth paint wheel. It's exclusive and only Bitch Lab Cosmetics can carry this paint.